Dave Breen, President and CEO of Special Olympics All. Our business uh, is really about the athletes. Uh, so we serve individuals with intellectual disabilities and we do a year-round sports training and competition. Um, and we, we really believe that they advocate for themselves through sport by showing the world, uh, showing the world their abilities. The biggest challenge that we really experience, I think, is just uh, is some of the prejudice maybe and discrimination that's out there in terms of our individuals. A lot of people don't understand um, people with disabilities at times. So I think it's really public education about some of the abilities they do have. And, and I think also just the different services that we offer. Um, we, we do things from sports to healthy in initiatives. Uh, we also have our athletes that speak on behalf of themselves and advocate for themselves. Um, so I, I think that the challenges have actually presented opportunities for us to educate the public about really the, the value that these individuals with intellectual disabilities bring to society. One lesson I've learned from some of the challenges we face in, in Special Olympics is that you really just don't judge a book by its cover. You, you really got to get to know everybody's story and, and really like, um, you know, peel back the, the layers of the onion as it were so that you find out really a lot more about them but also about the organization because there's a lot that we do that people think we're that one day track and field meet when we're actually really a movement for inclusion and acceptance. Best business advice I've ever gotten was a, a number of years ago I had a mentor that told me two things. One was treat the janitor like the CEO and the CEO like the janitor and it's, it's true. I know it's probably not an original statement um, and then also I think do your job better than it's ever been done before. And, and that piece really stuck with me because it says maybe you're not ready to move on after two years of doing something well, you really have to uh, work on your craft, whatever that is. And, and I think that um, if you do your job better than it's been done before, then you're ready for other challenges. The biggest keys of a, of a strong business culture is customer service. I think when you go in a place, you almost notice right away what kind of culture you have, whether you're greeted with a smile. Um, I think that really says a lot about the company because even the frontline people know that they have a line of sight to success for the business because they're greeting people. So, so I think that's, that's one of the key indicators of a culture. And, and I think also to see how it interacts and that it's a diverse culture. I think those are really important aspects of, of, of building that foundation. One of the ways uh, Special Olympics Illinois creates career paths is opportunities. I, I think we like to uh, have our employees experience challenges, um, and, and I think we see how they, they adapt to those challenges, and, and it's a variety of, of different opportunities. So I, I think it's good all the way around in terms of many different experiences, but also to see how they do in leadership. And then that will really give us a glimpse as to how they'll, you know, handle some of the pressures of leadership, um, you know, how they may deal with tough situations with employees or volunteers in our case. Uh, so I think just those different opportunities that are, in our case, worldwide, because we're a worldwide organization and movement. So they get a lot of different opportunities that maybe not a lot of people get to see, uh, you know, such as World Games, where they get to go to Sweden in a couple of years, and then they've got to really run a delegation of, of people. Um, so that, that provides some really great leadership opportunities.